Well, well, well. All right, here we are, guys. Uh, due to the vast emails, I owe a serious explanation. And uh, let me just put it to you like this. One thing I do not wish upon my worst enemy is a toothache. That is, uh, that's pretty brutal. I think we've all had one at one point or another, or multiple times. And, but I had to add something to the list. In addition to the toothache, it's moving. You know, moving your home, you know, one place to another. And uh, this was set up about three weeks ago or so. My stepbrother told me he was moving, needed some help. And uh, I was like, yeah, sure. You know, he, he had set up, you know, the previous weekend here to, uh, to do such a thing. And I uh, kind of forgot about it. You know, it's, I'm sure you know how a lot of times, you know, you make appointments and do stuff and it just doesn't happen. Anyways, well, no, it did. He called me Thursday after work, said, yeah, we got the, uh, you know, the wife and I got the weekend off and, you know, the kids are going to help and the whole deal. He's like, can you come over tomorrow? Tomorrow will be in Friday. I was like, yeah, sure. And, uh, oh boy, because they needed a truck and they're I, I probably one of well, family, you know, so a truck, you know, no problem. And, uh, oh, what a mess. You don't know, you don't know how much stuff you have until you're going to move. I'm sure uh, most of us, if not all, could relate to that. You just don't know how much stuff you have until you're going to move. It's like, son of a biscuit. I didn't anticipate this, you know. So anyways, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know bedding, uh, you know, appliances, you know, refrigerator. It's just amazing. 200 feet away, but whatever. And, uh, you know, we got um, washer, dryer, refrigerator. I, see, I got a small truck, so you can't put much in the back. Hindsight being 2020, we probably should have got a trailer. He's relocating because their family's growing. And they, they're in a two-bedroom now and moving into a three-bedroom to provide more room, obviously. And uh, actually, they got a better deal. And it's a nicer location, same school district, you know, the whole deal. But, uh, oh, my God. So that was uh, Friday, you know, afternoon, just to get a few things, you know, pretty much all day Saturday and two-thirds of the day Sunday. And... Uh, I'll tell you what, you start realizing quickly how many muscles that you uh, <laughs> haven't used in a while, simply because when you start going up and down stairs with couches and love seats and, you know, uh, dressers, end tables, you know, et cetera, et cetera, that'll wear you down. I don't care who you are. But anyways, that's the story of my life. So Monday, I woke up Monday and I was just wasted just wasted hips thighs legs my butt my back everything arms just sores can be shoulders and uh but we're going back i got some more news we're going to see charlie today and uh we've had this appointment set up for a few days i'll i'll, I'll get to you more on that just in a little bit all right heading out professor charlie how are you Fantastic. I'm doing very well. How are you? All right, good. Hey, let's talk for a minute in the shade. All right. It's pretty toasty out. <laughs> yeah, I just want to ask you a few questions. Yeah. Because it's been, what, about 10 days since I was last year? Yeah, I think so. And you can only get the day passes on the weekends, right? Correct. Yeah, my whole weekend was tied up. But, um, okay. Um, everybody's been emailing me, probably wondering why I haven't, 
been putting up any videos because normally it's every day if not every other day uh -huh. so they were asking you know hey what's going on and a lot of people were asking about you again but if you can fill in the world as to what's been happening give us the details on your schooling you're accepted you got your student loan approved etc uh -huh. etc et when do you physically start classes online on the 16th which would be next monday i think it is that's only six days yeah yeah, yeah. uh college is completely funded until um uh, until um until six months after i graduate oh so now is it a one-year class or you know months. 18 months so you got three semesters yeah that's how they break it up fantastic and you're going to get your own computer about a month into the program four weeks into the program i have to do three weeks into the program to show them i'm serious about it okay and then she'll mail it out on the third week which i'll get it the fourth or fifth week and you'll have a little bit of a surplus on your student loan type thing so you can want about talk about wanting to get a car yeah 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 um do you know how awesome this is to see you go from living in a freaking tent or you know underneath a bridge to a college student ever so quickly god is good god is good I, being homeless doesn't suit me being homeless does not suit me. i don't know if it suits anybody i mean well i have to maybe rephrase that because i know um, well some people choose to be well yeah you know sometimes you got no choice but i got some cool stuff for you i got you two packages thank you yeah and my friend darlene she made this all possible and it was about five six days ago um you had called me and said you, you desperately need a computer as soon as possible yes now i i said i had a chromebook which i did have but it just it's dead i got it eight or ten years ago it's a piece of crap it doesn't work so but at the same time darlene had sent some money for me to pay for your ticket tell me more about the ticket you got to go to court to find out how much it costs right i have to go to court yeah i i, I ended up calling them uh -huh. i can't they, there's not a price on the ticket i have to actually go to court and see how you much know, the ticket is george is like that you can get a speeding ticket you have to go to court to find out how much to pay yeah you know it's because i had her it's because i asked them to change the date from oh uh, it was in june so i should have been to call i should have went to court august 19th but because you know I, I moved into this rehab and things were a little hectic i asked uh, the clerk the, the clerk of court to change the date for october okay so she did so All right. and something's legal about that but well know. they can put it off as long as they want you yeah. know they got you by the balls either way because they'll suspend your license if you don't pay it well i'll go to you court know. they're not taking yeah. my license no 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 that, but that's what we got to find out so you have no idea how much the fine is no i don't no okay idea yet. yeah and I was thinking, I guess I'm going to call you. Oh, yeah. Um, what I need you to do, what I definitely need you to do, because that's only three weeks away, your court date, is to find out where you can go online to pay it, because I'm sure you can. If there's a way for them to collect money, the state of Georgia, they'll give you the website, your login, you know, ticket number, everything else. And I'll take care of it from there. All right. And that way, there's no suspension on your license i had this happen about five years ago i had a speeding ticket that i uh missed court for uh -huh. not only was there a warrant for my arrest for a speeding ticket they suspended my license so i got arrested and went to jail over a ticket that i didn't pay it was 85 dollars and it ended up costing me almost 400 bucks because i had to pay the reinstatement fee to get my license back 250 dollars plus the ticket plus the late fee on the ticket yeah and then and it's crap but i got you some goodies thank you yeah you're gonna be excited thank you look you. like a I'm, professor i'm already excited it looks like you're ready to glasses yeah you look like you're like a professor a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. i was told i look like a um, a librarian well that's that's kind of what i was thinking as well but also that's the the counselor look so you're gonna you you're gonna major in substance abuse counseling substance abuse counseling. similar to what you're receiving now and you know you know um i'm sure they probably have told you and shared their stories with you they're probably recovering addicts of some type they, every one of them yeah they are every one of them and you can't teach somebody something you haven't experienced that's right i think is that the president 
No, it's not. Um, hold on. Let me make sure that's not anyone in the apartment. Take your you're, time. You're right. But, um, I'm going to have to go because they, they okay. saw me. So let's go get the package. Okay, we'll be quick. Yeah. Yeah, I, t I left at 12.15 to get here. I'm right here. All right. First of all, I got you two bags. All right, one of this is a food care package. All right, thank you. Some crackers, a bunch of chips, some peanut butter, a bunch of jellies. There's uh, some, uh, um, what do you call that? The, uh, the <laughs> Chef Boy RD cans. Uh -huh. You know, just some stuff to get your bike for a couple of days. All right, thank some you. Some microwavable, you know, lunches. Yeah, They're yeah, yeah. Ravioli, I don't know if you like those or not. Uh, some silverware packs, napkin, etc. Yeah, I'm going to need those. From my buddy Mark. And the bag. Yeah. Now, here, now this is going to be important. So I'm going to give you another bag with your other stuff in it. Okay. And you can use these as laundry. And then I was thinking when you go to Walmart, these can be your shopping bags. Yeah, yeah. Instead of them crappy plastic ones you get. All right. Let's get down to it. I'll be quick. Oh. If we can do it right here. Let's yeah, let's do that. All right, I got to adjust this. So I can show the world. Now, this is basically a gift from Darlene, so this is yours. This is yours to keep. Oh, wow. Thank you, Darlene. Yeah. She sent the money to pay your ticket and get you some stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. All right. He's in Texas. All right. Now, this is Windows 10. This isn't a, this isn't a notebook. This isn't a, uh, well, I should say a notepad. It's not a... Uh, not a Chromebook, not a tablet. It's an actual computer. Okay. All right, so this is this. Uh, what region? I'm going to shut it down. Now, the, it must have been on the whole time because it opened right up. But here's an Ethernet cable. All right. For you to connect, you know, at home and whatnot. All right. uh, actually, this doesn't even have an Ethernet port on it. Uh -huh. The Chromebook did. Hey, Shannon wants to talk to you, baby. Okay, yeah, I was going to call her all the time. This was just to drop the computer off. I couldn't get here on the weekend because I was tied up. I was helping my stepbrother move. And she said she could just maybe meet me in the parking lot for a few minutes so I could drop off the stuff because she starts school in six days. So I, I got her a computer and some accessories and a bag of food. That's about it. I do apologize yeah. to Shannon. It, it was nothing, um, it was nothing, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, it was just simple and innocent dropping the computer off. That's all it was. Nothing malicious. Nothing malicious. Well, right. I'll just give you everything. Yeah. Power cord, mouse, there's an external mouse. And that way, if you can't come back out, at least you have it. All right, thank you, Daryl. So, thank you. Well, call me later if you can. I will. I you will. Know. Let me go talk to Ms. Roxy. I hope I didn't get you in any trouble. No, no, uh, I did it. I did it, Daryl. All right. I'll see you later. All right, yeah, I'll definitely talk to you later. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot on your mind right now. Wow, that's amazing. The lady came on the phone. I guess one of her counselors or supervisors or something to that effect and said, uh, who's that guy you're with underneath the tree when he's drinking a beer? That wasn't a beer. That was a monster. I'm not drinking no beers. Are you crazy? Uh, anyways... With that being the case, she told me she could come out to the parking lot as long as she doesn't leave the property. And we, no such thing. So I think she might get in trouble. Not sure. I guess we'll have to wait to find out. I might hear something on the way home. But uh, all right. Well, that was cut abruptly short. And I'm quite sure I didn't get any of her... Uh, roommates which are also patients if you will because she's is you know it's an inpatient program where they live and they bring you back and forth every day to your treatment center oh what a bad deal it was like i was getting interrogated for something i didn't even do but uh all right either way 
she's got her stuff and uh, heading back home a long drive be back in a minute guys it's, uh, it's great to see her again starts school in six days you know got her whole class you know schedule blah 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 and all she got to do is well you know start using a computer and get it done all right i'll be back 